Hey guys, welcome to Oxman Garage. Make sure you like and subscribe if you wanna see more F-150 content just like this. So in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing, installing, and doing a review of the MBRP four inch catback exhaust system for the 2021 to 2024 and up F-150. So this is gonna cover the 2.7, the 3.5, and the 5.0 engines. This will not cover the power boost. So this is gonna be part number, S is in Sierra 5209, A is in Alpha, L is in Lima. This retails for about $409.19. This is gonna be 16 gauge aluminized steel. It's gonna be a three year warranty. It has a five inch tip on the end and you can upgrade to black. This is their AL series, so this is the Armor Light or the Illuminized uh, exhaust system. You can upgrade to their other packages with this system and you get their black package where the end of the tailpipe will be all uh, black. And then the XP and the Pro where they're gonna upgrade to a stainless steel type and the warranty is gonna go up as well. So without further ado, we're gonna get this unboxed. We're gonna install it on the truck and get a review. All right, I'm going to be installing this on my 2021 F-150 XLT. This has the 3.5 EcoBoost. All right, so now we're going to be unboxing. So uh, this box is coming from Canada. So in route, had a little bit of damage right here. And then on the side here, it is exposing some of the pipe. Uh, if I'm going to nitpick a little bit, I think I would have wanted them to do a double wall box instead of a single wall because this is what that is. Like I said, it is coming from Canada. They're based in Canada, MBRP. And uh, I'll put the website right here on the bottom where you can contact them. They have a number and an email if you need to contact their customer service. So uh, you will get a Canadian accent and they're going to wonder, what are you talking about? So we're going to get this box open now. Packaged very nice. This four inch pipe is huge. This is going to free up some horsepower and is going to increase your fuel economy. It comes with these big giant clamps with hangers. I believe this is the exhaust tip. There's the muffler. Here's another pipe. Everything is looking really good. Yeah, no damage. The box did its job. They did ship it with FedEx. FedEx has been pretty good lately. I also ship car parts. So, yeah, everything looks really good. I don't see any damage. Got all the necessary pipes. All right, so here's a better look at the bag and the tip. Kind of give you a close-up of the tip. If you really like the chrome, this is really nice. I like it. It's got a clamp right here. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Yeah, that's if you're into chrome. I'm not into chrome. You can upgrade to their black tip. Here's what's in the bag. You have clamps and hangers and some washers. So you got the big clamps. You get four of them. And then some washers. And then this looks like a hanger. It's gonna go on there. And then you get the instructions. You get a little sticker. Awesome. I love stickers. Okay, kind of shows you the whole layout. And then good instructions. You can also get the instructions on their website. And I believe they also have a YouTube video for installing this, but we're gonna install it on this video, so stay tuned. That's what's coming next. All right guys, so we got the F-150 on my two-post mid-range lift. 
Uh, if you don't have a lift, make sure you're supporting the vehicle on the frame with good sturdy jack stands and take all the safety precautions to make sure that you are safe. Uh, I will not be showing the removal of the stock catback system. If you're interested in a video like that, check out the link right here on how to take off the stock F-150 uh, system off a of 21 and up F-150. So very simple procedure, but if you just need to see a visual, check out that video. All right, so now I'm gonna be installing the front pipe and installing the front pipe with the extended pipe all depends on what your wheelbase is. So my truck is a, a crew cab with a 5.5 box. So I have a wheelbase of 145 inches. So I do not need to cut into the front pipe and I do not need to use the extended pipe. Now, if you have a different configuration on your truck, whether you have a regular cab or extended cab, you need to uh, follow this table right here. And this is gonna tell you if you're going to be cutting into any of your pipes. So I'll also have a link in the description of the full instructions from MBRP. Uh, so just follow that and you'll be able to know with the wheelbase of your truck that you're gonna have to cut into either of these pipes right here. All right, so now we wanna install the front pipe. And we want to install it loosely and we want to use the factory bolts and the supplied washers. I put a little bit of grease on the factory bolt just so it doesn't seize up later on. All right, so after you got the front pipe installed, you now want to slide a four inch clamp over the front pipe and install the extension pipe if it's required. If it's not, then you want to install the hang tight hanger on the four inch clamp. And to do that, I'm going to show you, make sure it's like this, kind of depress it a little bit. And then you want that nut to go over this keyhole and then you slide it down. And then when it's over the pipe, you want to tighten that and all this is going to stay together. All right, so I'm going to be putting the hanger on that I just showed you. If you took off the second hanger, you want to put this uh, hanger mount back on the hanger mount. So now I'm going to be putting the clamp with the hanger on. And we're going to put it on first and then... It's gonna go just like this. I'm gonna slide this through. And put it on backwards. So it's gonna be like this. And then you wanna feed it through the keyhole. And then just like that. And then I'm just gonna open it up a little bit more because we're gonna be sliding the muffler on. And I'll get you a better picture from this angle. All right, that's what it's supposed to look like. So you want the hanger on that hanger mount right there. That's the second one. And then the clamp feeds through the bolt on this side. All right, so now we want to install the muffler. It's gonna go up just like this. So slip over the pipe. Okay, and then you're gonna take your clamp. All right, so this is the configuration you want to have with the hang tight hanger. I struggled with it a little bit. Uh, you just have to play with it, take your time, but you want that hanger to be in that second uh, hanger mount. And then you just wanna go through that keyhole with the hang tight hanger and it should look like this. All right, so the next piece we're gonna install is this uh, pipe right behind the muffler. And you see this hanger right here is going to attach to that stock uh, hanger that was towards the stock muffler. All right, so you wanna put your clamp on first. It's gonna be a little snug. Okay. 
this guy goes on. All right, so you want to slide the hanger over the mount, kind of manipulate the pipe a little bit and then uh, slide the pipe all the way in. All right, so we got that uh, pipe on the rear and we have the hanger through the hanger mount on top and then we got the clamp on and it's just snug so now we're going to move to the rear tailpipe all right so here is the rear tailpipe section which goes right behind the wheel it is going to go right on that pipe right there and then the hanger is going to go right there and then it should be coming out right behind the rear wheel right there. All right, so it's gonna go over the axle. Slide in that hanger. All right, so we got the rear tailpipe on and we got the clamp over that and it's nice and snug. Nothing is tightened or torqued down yet. So it's gonna come up over the straight axle here and then comes to the hang tight hanger and then all the way back. So everything needs to be loosely snug, not tightened down yet. So now that we have that all done, we're going to install the tip. All right, so now we're installing the chrome exhaust tip and you wanna use an eight millimeter Allen key. And just slide it on like that and it's kind of your preference on how deep you wanna go. And you're just gonna tighten this end right here. All right, so now we're gonna check all of our band clamps. We wanna make sure that they're aligned over the uh, tightening joints on the pipes. Make sure they're lined up nice. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check for clearances. Make sure that the exhaust is not touching anything, brake lines, the drive shaft right here, or the body itself. Make sure it's all nice and lined up before you start tightening everything down. Once your band clamps are all aligned and ready to be tightened, we're gonna start at the front and tighten those two bolts that hook up behind the cats. And then we're gonna work our way back and start tightening all these band clamps. All right, so after we torque all of our band clamps down to 45 foot-pounds, we wanna drive the vehicle, do a couple hot cold cycles, and we wanna retorque everything after about 30 to 60 miles. All right, once the suspension is rested and you fully dropped it, it's off your jack stands, uh, check for clearances one more time because uh, suspension components are kind of close. Right in there, see if you can take a peek underneath. All right guys, so we're gonna do a before and after of the exhaust note. So the before is gonna obviously be the stock exhaust. So this is the before. And now this is the after, so this is the MBRP 4-inch cat bag exhaust. All right, now that we checked the before and after of just a couple idles, so now we're gonna go for a test drive and see how it sounds in the cab. All right, I'm gonna accelerate. On the 4,000 RPM range. 
That sounds great, I love it. All right, so now we're kind of dropping down below 2,000 RPM. Now I'm at 1,500 RPM, and I'm kind of cruising right now. I'm going about 50 miles per hour. There's no drone inside the cab. I got the windows up, nice and, nice and quiet. My ears aren't hurting. So I'm gonna get on it again. I'm going 50 miles per hour. I'll take it up to 80. Wide open throttle. So I went up to about 5,000 RPM there at 80 miles per hour. Sounds aggressive, sounds really mean. It just wakes up that 3.5 EcoBoost. I love it. This sounds really good. So now I'm just cruising below 1500 RPM. Sounds really good. And now I'm starting to come to a stoplight. And it's, you know, it's not droning inside the cab. Sounds really good. So I'm coming up to a stoplight and I'm gonna come to a complete stop. Okay, and I'm gonna accelerate. It sounds really great. I love this sound. It's nice and aggressive. Lower RPM, no drone. Sounds great. All right, guys, going to wrap up this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more F-150 content. So also check out MBRP's website if you want to see additional information or instructions uh, in person. They also have a YouTube channel if you want to visually see any of their other products for the F-150. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is Josh with Oxman Garage.